Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. established beyond reasonable doubt that this was no normal act of war. It is clear that some evil and mysterious force is working against us. This is a job for the wasps. Alert the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. I want your boys to find out just what is going on. It's a tough one, but I'm relying on you, Shore. Yes, sir. Awaiting your further instructions. Lieutenant, sound off action stations, alert Stingray. Captain Troy Tempest, control tower calling, stand by to launch Stingray. Okay, phones, wake up, boy. Here we go again. It's okay, Captain. I'm wide away. Wonder what it is this time. All final details to be left to Aquanaut Commander Shore. Okay, sir, leave it to me. All right, Atlanta, this is it. Sound launch stations. Yes, sir. This is it. Okay, phones? Okay, Troy. Release injector tubes. Release injector tubes. Close number one hatch. Number one hatch. Okay, release elevators. Release elevators. Acceleration rate one. Rate one. Stingray launch, stage one complete, sir. Approaching ocean door. Tower 
More from Stingray. Seaborn. Okay, Troy. This is the brief. Proceed full speed to position 1,800 miles west-northwest, 2,400 reference for, and investigate unaccounted destruction of world security patrol vessel Sea Probe. PWOR. Raid one. Raid two. Raid three. Raid four. Check trim. Check and trim. Raid six. Check. Raid six. Six hundred knots. Switch to automatic bosun. Automatic bosun operating. Okay, phones. Let's go back to the relaxation bay. We haven't got another instrument check for half an hour yet. Okay, Atlanta. Take five. There's not much more we can do until they approach the zone. Right. I'll get us some coffee. Twenty-four hundred. Reference four. Hmm. That's what I figured. The same old story. Deep waters. Like all the other trouble zones. It's an ocean trench. Here we go again. I know. There are people living under the sea, and I've got theories at the bottom of my garden. Okay, you can laugh. But someday I'm going to prove it, and it may be sooner than you think. Yes, Captain, but right now we'd better get back to control. We'll be passing the island of Lemoy, and I don't trust the automatic boatswain that much. Surface Agent X20 reporting. The underwater radar system informs me that the World Aquanaut Security Patrol vessel Stingray has just passed the island, heading in the direction of explosion zone. I will continue to report on progress. Well, phones, I guess the wreckage of the submarine must be on the ocean floor by now. Let's go down and take a look around. Right, so pressure compensators on. Reduce speed to cruising. Reduce to cruising. Two thousand feet. Commence sound scan. Something's following us. What does it sound like? I can't tell. It's too far off. But it's gaining rapidly. Whatever it is, it's sure got some power. Okay. Stand by to take evasive action. Okay, Captain. <laughs> Panic's over. <laughs> it's just a phase. A big one, but it's only a fish. And I thought we were going to see some action. Phones, seal all watertight doors. We're going out of control. You, you okay, Phones? Yeah. 
I am. I'm okay, but look, sir, according to the instruments, the rest of the ship is flooded. Great. We're stranded at the bottom of the ocean. We can't even contact base. Guess our luck's run out, phones. Marineville calling Stingray. Are you receiving us? Are you receiving us? Over. Oh, nothing. Just dead. What do you think could have happened? I don't know. Could be their radios failed. But unlikely. They carry a standby set. That means only one thing. Trouble. Order an aerial search of the area immediately. Yes, sir. All civilian personnel to remain in their quarters. All vehicles proceed to nearest ramp area. Five seconds. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. Zero. Power to power plant. Commence battle stations procedure. Battle stations, PWOR. you answer me? You're wasting your time, Turanian. She cannot speak. None of her race know the luxury of words. She is my slave. And you are my prisoner. Just who are you? And where am I? I am Titan, leader of the underwater city of Titanica. I must congratulate you. You are the first Terranian to set eyes on one of the people of the underwater world. But it seems so fantastic. I can hardly believe it. Believe it? Look above you. Five thousand fathoms of water. And all around us, the mighty ocean. You see, Terranian, there is no escape. But why are you holding me as a prisoner? I'm a member of the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Our job is to investigate. Not to fight. Maybe so, but we'll soon find out. Don't worry, Terranian. You will be given a fair trial. <laughs> uh... PWOR. I'm sorry, Atlanta. The aerial search has found nothing. What are they going to do? I'm going to give it to you straight, Atlanta. We're going to bombard the entire area with hydronic missiles. But, Father, we can't do this, supposing Troy's still alive. Look, honey, this is a tough organization, and we're doing a tough job. 
Something or someone has started all this and we've got to finish it. Prepare hydromic missiles for launch. Captain Troy Tempest, your trial will commence. Teufel, our great sea god, will decide your fate. He looks only upon friends of our people. If he turns away from you within the space of one marine minute, then you are proved to be our enemy. The penalty, death. <laughs> The trial is open. When the liquid fills the tube, one marine minute will have passed and the trial will be over. Quarter of a marine minute. Teufel still looks upon you. Half a marine minute. Still holds, Troy Tempest. One quarter of a minute left. The trial is nearly over. Captain Troy Tempest of the World Aquanaut Security Patrol, you and your crew have been found guilty. It is decreed that you are doomed to die. You will be taken to the underwater prison of Aquatraz, where sentence will be carried out. Oh, Troy. Hello, Atlanta. What was that crash I heard? I dropped Troy's photograph as the video phone came on. It, it startled me. Any news? No, honey, not a thing. Just take it easy. You've got another hour yet before you do back on duty. Nice people. They only bother with the big fish. You get convicted and we both get the sentence. Not if I can help it. You've got to think of something. Careful. Remember the fish dish behind us. It's okay. She can't talk. Well, maybe not, but the point is, can she understand? End of conversation.
Oh, don't tell me she's gonna tie those ropes any tighter. Say, she's not as sweet as she looks. Bones, listen to what I say. Don't react. She's untying me. What's the action? Give me time, I'm working on it. Guess you want out too. Don't worry, we'll take care of you. Now listen carefully, both of you. This is the plan. Watch out, Troy. Okay, one move and you're dead. Thanks, Marina. Looks like Troy's luck has run out, Father. Yeah. Just half an hour to go before the atomic attack. I'm sorry, Atlanta. Unidentified craft approaching Marineville, come out of shore. Switch on TV cameras covering approach to Ocean Door. Yes, sir. Could it be Troy? What in thunder is that? A fish, sir. I know that you done the head, but have you ever seen one this size? Wait a minute. The fins. They aren't moving. It's mechanical. Say, you're right. Launch underwater interceptors. <laughs> Ten seconds to launch. Nine, eight, Look! seven, it's towing six, something. five, four, three. It's Stingray. Two. Hold the interceptors. Lieutenant, contact central control immediately. Tell them to hold the hydronic attack. Commander, open ocean doors. Yes, sir. I guess that's about it, folks. It sure was some experience, and all I can say is, I'm sure glad we made it before the rocket attack. Well, it's a great story. At least we know now what we're up against. Whole races of people living under the sea. Some bad, and I guess some good. Some to help, some to fight. But the part I don't understand is how you managed to fix a line to Stingray without your underwater equipment. <laughs> well, that's the one part of the story I haven't told you about. Commander Shore, Lieutenant, Atlanta, meet Marina, the latest recruit to the World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Marina, well, what do you know? Yeah, well, Larry, as I were saying, at least we know what we're up against. Well, I certainly know what I'm up against. <laughs> Marina, I want Marina. What are these strange enchantments that start whenever you're near? Marina, aqua marina, why can't you whisper the words that my heart is longing to hear? Your magic to me, a beautiful mystery I'm certain to fall I know because you enthrall me so Marina Aqua 
Oh, Maria, why don't you say that you'll always stay close to my heart?